All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Cuts 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And I will be honest, this is one I have been looking forward to for months. Um, this PSA order, I'll be honest, took a long, long time. 45-day uh, bulk submission ended up taking north of 80. Um, it uh, just it took it took a while. Um, but as is any order that's bulk submission, that is the name of the game. It can certainly take longer uh, or shorter than expected. Uh, typically not shorter by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's rare. <clears throat> um, but honestly, uh, it was actually kind of cool because some of the stuff in here has uh, significantly increased in value during that time. Uh, and it works both ways. Some of the stuff has definitely gone down and is certainly not a, uh, not what it could have been. Um, i.e. Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, Mitch Trubisky, a couple different guys um, that will be in here. But you guys will get a get a good look at this. This is a this is actually a pretty good sub. There's a I don't mean grade wise. It wasn't amazing. Like I didn't get ninety percent gem by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but there's some actually some good cards in here. Some really 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 solid stuff. Um, and I'll just be upfront about it. Um, with this order, I and let me know your guys' thoughts below when you watch the sub, right? Because I want to get your guys' opinion. Um, obviously, I don't think this was intentional, and I'm not, like, upset about it. I just, if you notice the sub, I seem to notice a trend when I went through this that the better cards got nines and the lesser cards got ten, specifically for individual players. So you'll notice this instance for Stidham. You'll notice this instance for, like, Lamar. You'll notice this instance for, like, um, there's a couple different people. Um, but I'll point Trout in one situation. I'll point it out when I see it, but it seems like there was, like, multiple cards, like, back-to-back -back that were, like, hey, there's this one and this one. And, like, there's two Stidham autos in here. And, like, one's Contenders and one's Leaf. And, like, the Leaf got a 9 or 10 and the Elite or the Contenders got a, a 9. It's, like, the better card there. Or a Trout second year Tops Update Blue got, a, like, a 9 or something. And a Tops Chrome Refractor got a 10. It was just – I noticed that trend without it. Again, I don't know if it's intentional or not. You certainly wouldn't expect that. Um, again, maybe just luck of the draw. Uh, I, I, I don't really expect a whole lot out of it. Um, like, I don't think it was intentional or anything like that. I just uh, – just kind of found it odd that that's what what happened in the situation. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get started. But again, let me know your guys' thoughts here. I'm always uh, always open to feedback. So uh, Kyle Tucker, 84 Tops Chrome. Um, uh, throwback Auto. I think this is numbered. Yeah, out of 50. I thought this had a real shot to gem. And I'll, I will try to avoid saying that you guys will catch me uh, slipping on that. Um, I think the biggest thing is PSA really started cracking down on their centering recently. And you can see with this one, this one is off center, top to bottom. Now, I probably wouldn't send this now, just knowing how strict PSA currently is with centering. Because this didn't always used to be the case. PSA would definitely let stuff slide by if it wasn't centered. So, um, but I would try to avoid saying I thought this was gem. Because I'll be honest, I thought all of this stuff was gem. That's why I send it in. Um, Franco, Mega, PSA 10. I'll probably end up keeping the Franco stuff for a minute. At least the tens. There's a nine. Good looking cards, man. These are really clean. Those look great in a PSA holder. So there's a ten and a nine. I did pretty well on Topps Chrome stuff. I'll be honest. Um, Vlad uh, X Factor PSA ten. I actually did really well on like this. There's like a group of this kind of stuff. I'm not sure it's all right here, but here's some of them. Uh, there's a pink refractor. Vlad, 10. I have no idea what these sell for. Um, very few cards in here I've actually looked up. I just got the grades back like early, late last week, and I was like, you know what? Let me just run through it, and I did. Um, but I don't. I didn't really look up anything like, hey, what does that sell for? I think I only looked up like three cards. Uh, there's a Vlad Tops Chrome base rookie. So pretty good on Vlad's. X-Fractor, Sepia, Pink, and Base, all 10. Uh, Alonzo, I really like this dude long-term. Not sure I'll keep it, um, but 10 prism refractor uh you got an alonzo base rookie that also got a 10 so pretty solid stretch there of a uh, top scrum baseball uh moving right along ended up getting two of these graded uh and both got tens wendell carter jr i'm not sure he's selling very well right now um so i'm not sure if these will be holds or keeps i really don't know um does it make sense to sell and see if he does or uh get what you can or is it kind of like a wait and see type thing uh, I'll be honest, this was pretty disappointing. 
These might go back for regrading at some point. Um, I think the orange one has the better chance, chance to gem, to be honest. Um, but the fact that neither one of these 10 was super disappointing. Um, I have a 10 of this and a 10 of green and like 5, 10 uh, base rookies. But uh, I would have liked for these to 10, especially with as long as this order taken uh, took. It would have been nice to get a 5% extra 10s, but... Uh, those would have been cool, but like I always say, beats an eight, could be worse. Uh, pretty cool, Keldon Johnson explosion, insert rookie from the National, uh, it's number to 40. This will probably be one I'll ask Kentucky Basketball Cards if he needs, um, if not, it might be available. So, uh, Keldon Johnson at a 40. Uh, Contenders Draft Picks, PSA 10 Lonnie Walker, I'll be honest, I have a ton of this guy and uh, Michael Porter Jr. from this set. I think almost every single one I've sent in of Lonnie Walker or Michael Porter Jr. has like 10, and I've got like multiple of each, like five to six of each guy. Um, so those cards I seem to consistently get 10s on. Obviously, this isn't a 10, but this would have been cool to get a higher grade. Uh, I really thought I was going to get an 8. Um, that's what my intent or my, uh, my guess would have been. It's a pretty clean copy. I think I bought this at the National for... I'll probably lose money in this card because I think I paid 80 bucks for it. And I think a seven does a little less than that. Plus I paid to get it graded. Um, but I'll be honest, I won't be moving this. This will go just in my Jordan stash and something I uh, I keep back for a while. So this will not be available for sure. I will definitely be keeping that. Uh, uh, slash and Dash T-Mac, uh, 40 of 99. This is a pretty cool insert set. Um, selected. I always like refractors that are numbered, especially if they're just like silvers. So that's kind of cool from uh, last year's select T-Mac in the Magic jersey. Uh, Isaac, second year, first off the line uh, out of 18. Uh, number three of 13. I'm sorry, 18, 13. Uh, Isaac, first off the line. This is also the uh, court side. If you guys watch any of my stuff, I'm big on court side. Underappreciated set for sure. Uh, Trey, obviously this would have been nice if it tend, but to be honest, it's probably a good thing I sent this in because uh, it actually appreciated probably quite a bit when it was in there because um, his stuff wasn't nearly as hot when I sent it in back in August. So PSA 9, uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. got a PSA 9. A little bit of a tough stretch in this little uh, section. Aiton, Silver, PSA 9. And then, unfortunately, the best card I sent in did not 10. This would have been really nice. Um, but it's pretty off-centered. You can kind of see it's it's up there. So um, this probably isn't a regrade uh, candidate. This just doesn't have a shot to 10 with the PSA's new uh, strictness on uh, centering. So I'm honestly just glad because they're so strict on it, it didn't get an 8 because it's pretty top-to-bottom off-centered. So um, PSA 9, I'm cool with that. Again, another one of those cards that appreciated quite a bit and is worth a significant amount more money now than it uh it was at the time. I did end up getting a Luca 10, though, from Prism. Uh, red, white, and blue. Uh, I believe these were not very expensive when I sent them in. Probably 40, 40 bucks raw. And I think the last 10 did over $250. Um, so pretty solid sub. Uh, or pretty solid result on this one. Because that's worth quite a bit more money. And then these were actually awesome pickups. So if you watched my video, it's actually one of the best videos I've ever... Uh, like watch wise on my page ever um my like national recap video where i showed everything i got and the prices again i'm pretty transparent um especially for a car store owner and um I just feel like i uh i don't like to hide things so i always talk about in my videos like what i pay for stuff um and in my national video i actually found this on the first first day i think i think it was first day it's been so long um but this was in a bought in a deal I bought and it was priced at $35. And at the time, the last raw copy did like 75 or 80 bucks. I was like, that's a pretty good buy. Uh, and then I ended up, I don't know if I pulled this or got this cheap. I don't remember. Um, I thought it was at the national. But I think the last PSA 10 copy of this card sold for like $300. So uh, Simon's Purple Pulsar at a 35. And Simon's Fast Break Optic Bronze or Prism Bronze out of 20. Um, so those are pretty cool. I figured, again, kind of like I said with that trend up start, I figured this would have 10 and this would have 9 uh, with the trend, that the way that this goes. But as you can see with the Lucas, that's kind of kind of my point on this. This is this is a per example number one. 
9 on the better card, 10 on the lesser card. Um, it didn't work out for the Simons, right? It obviously didn't happen there. And I'm not, again, not, this isn't a, like something I'm like going to lose sleep over. I just, I thought it was interesting as I was watching the video or as I was looking through the results. Uh, two Trubisky rookies from Prism, 110 and 1-9. I honestly have no idea what those are doing, but I'm sure those are down compared to what they were earlier this year. Uh, Darnold, tricolor Prism field level out of 99. Uh, nice little 10 there. Uh, this was actually really cool. I picked this up in a deal a while ago. This has probably been all during the summer. Um, and I own a uh, McDavid PSA 10, and I own a Young Gun Rookie, and I own a couple Pierre Luc DuBois for the Blue Jackets. So this will probably be one I just throw in my box and uh, kind of keep for a while. I think Matthews is the real deal. Uh, but was able to get that at, uh, as a 10. So that's super cool. Uh, if it were a 9, I would probably want to sold it, but a 10 I'll, I'll probably uh, keep. Uh, definitely one that has uh, depreciated since I sent it in. I would have been better off selling this raw because I would imagine raw at the time I hit this card or got this card would sell for more money than this will sell for as a 10. Because I would imagine, I have a Finley Legacy Auto on my eBay page, uh, card collector 2 underscore sports cards. Uh, a Legacy Auto PSA 10 of Ryan Finley is up for like 35 bucks or best offer and hasn't sold. So I'm going to guess this is a $20 card, um, which is a couple bucks more than grading and shipping. So nothing there. But this is on the opposite end of that spectrum. This is definitely one that has appreciated. Uh, I don't know what these go for, but I think I looked on base 10s, like non-refractors, a uh, month and a half ago, and they were doing over 100 so I would imagine this is probably a pretty big card right now. Again, I have no idea on the actual value on this, like sell value, because I just, I'll be honest, I haven't looked. Uh, but I would imagine it's pretty substantial. If I had to guess, I would say somewhere around 250 to 300. Um, but again, hard to hard to say for sure. Uh, nice one here, Pettis, first off the line at a nine. I believe this is Premier. No, Premier level is the answer. This is Concourse. Uh, at a nine, first off the line, rookie. Uh, at a, is a 10. Definitely wish this would have got a 10. This is a super cool card. Uh, but again, actually one that's actually appreciated because McCaffrey has been awesome this year. Uh, looked just amazing. 2,000 yards from scrimmage, I believe, in counting. Uh, this is the Prism Red Retail, which I believe is out of 7 uh, as a 9. So that's cool. Uh, another ones that keep continuing to rise but he doesn't really get the hobby love that he should. Uh, Josh Allen, 10 base. He doesn't seem to sell that amazing. Uh, and then a green 10, uh, uh, green Pulsar as a 10. I've seen him three of these now. This is the first one I got to 10. The first two got nines. Um, so good to see one of them was able to pull a 10. Uh, Derwin James. Uh, this is probably not done a whole lot this year with him being injured, but that's a nine. Juju hasn't really done what I thought he would this year. Um, I'm just, I like Juju's talent. I just, I think some people's points are valid that maybe he might not be a number one type guy. Maybe he got the numbers he did because AB was there and taking all the coverage. Tough to say, but something to certainly think about. Um, ben Simmons, uh, blue out of 15, I think. Yeah, two of 15. Uh, I've did not done well. If you watch my other video, my last PSA sub results, uh, I had a bunch of this stuff from the National, which is what this is, and the I didn't do very well on those. There's certainly something that they don't like about this set because I did not do very well, but that's out of 15. So uh, this is actually cool. I had a customer call in for something to Messi the other day. So um, I didn't have anything. So now I do uh, Messi purple ice PSA nine out of 99. And then Ronaldo uh, red, white, and blue. This is out of 10. They're not serial numbered, uh, but they're short print to 10. So that would have been a cool one to get a 10 because soccer stuff does really well. Um, but still, happy with, with that. Um, I will save everyone the time and go through these a little bit quicker. Uh, you got a field level 9, and then you got base 10, base 10, base 10, base 9, base 10, base 10, and uh, premier level base non-silver as a 10. So... Uh, I ended up moving quite a bit of my Darnold stuff, uh, honestly, probably at a low point, but I made end up, ended up making pretty good money on it just because I was buying it so cheap, honestly, this time last year, and it just went up so much in the off season. Um, 
it was just, uh, it was really hard to lose money. I ended up selling uh, quite a bit of them. I still have a ton of Darnold stuff left, and I still like him long term. Um, it just, uh, and I've talked about this in store a lot more, but it's just, it's kind of hard to keep a bunch of stuff in shop, like a lot of like prospects type stuff, like guys that fluctuate in, in price. Uh, just with being a card store owner, like this business is all liquid. Like you need to have capital to buy the next deal, and you need to have capital to buy more boxes and stuff like that. Uh, so to hold, uh, stock in guys that can go up and down very quickly uh, is a little risky and just not something I uh, can really afford to take on a lot of at the moment. So I've been buying less and less of guys I'm going to keep long term, other than like LeBron Jordan, that kind of stuff. I'll keep that when I can. But guys that fluctuate a lot, it's a little bit harder um, just because if like you have $10,000 in one guy and he goes, you know, loses the damn Dolphins, that stock goes to, from like 10000 to 6000 pretty quick. Uh, but if he, you know, beats the Cowboys, it could go from 10,000 to 12,000 pretty quick. It's just, it's just a uh, pretty, uh, vast increases and decreases. So just kind of, uh, slowing down on like keeping a bunch of stuff of, uh, of guys. So I've honestly been auctioning like a hundred cards a week if I can, uh, Troy Polamalu. So sorry for the side rant, uh, Troy Polamalu, uh, top finest is a nine, uh, Aaron Donald, to me, best defensive player in football, uh, gold out of 50 as a nine. Uh, James Washington, another guy that's been kind of under underwhelming this year. Um, had some some moments to shine. I just thought he might have broke out a little bit more. But again, the Steelers have also had some serious quarterback issues. Uh, some Just honestly, all sorts of issues. That's why I think Tomlin should win coach of the year. They lost their starting quarterback, starting running back, well, Maybe I didn't start last year, but starting wide receiver. I mean, Bell, Brown, and Big Ben all not playing this year, and that team still won what eight or nine games already. Um, I think Tomlin wins coach should win coach of the year. That team is uh, overperforming. Uh, Randy Moss, Copper at a seventy-five. I talked about this before. That field level, uh, field level is a good set. Hall of Fame at a ten. That's probably a. This is what I talked about. I think when I sent this video out because I remember talking about this card. You know, I think I bought this card for a dollar. A couple bucks to grade it, right? You're talking about taking a ten, twelve dollar investment and turning it into a thirty, thirty five dollar sale. I mean, making fifteen, twenty dollars off one card, right? I mean, fifteen or twenty dollars. Again, that's not a million dollars, right? I'm this isn't a million dollar. Uh, I'm not trying to preach, you know, how to make a million dollars on one sports card, um, but you know, if you make fifteen dollars on half of those cards, it's over one hundred fifty dollars. So. And just something to, to think about. So I talk a lot about that, but cool set, numbered, Hall of Famer, cool design, PSA 10. It's kind of a recipe for success. Uh, Juju, another one of those as a 10. Uh, JJ, Topps Chrome Refractor. Again, kind of going back to that Russell Wilson. I don't know what the Topps Chrome Refractor sell for. I'd imagine this could be decent. Sometimes the Topps Chrome Refractors can be hard to to gem because the surfaces can be uh, easily scratched. So tough to say on that. Uh, Miles Garrett, I haven't had a lot of luck with his stuff recently. Uh, contenders playoff ticket at 249 and at a 499. I have a lot of his stuff put away. Some just some of his uh, like rare stuff that I've picked up over over time. Um, so wish those were a 10 because I'll probably end up keeping those. But um, as nines, they will probably end up going out and shop. Uh, two that I was a little disappointed with because this guy's been playing so well. I think could be up for Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, Watt, Disco as a 9, and then unfortunately our first 8 out of 99, TJ Watt. So um, I would be curious to know why they got an 8 because I think I only got a couple 8s in this entire sub. So disappointing. Uh, Brady, 2 cards from Prism, 3 cards from Prism. Uh, again, kind of like I talked about, if you take the what's the worst card of all 3 of these? It's right there in the middle. Best two cards, didn't get tens. So that's just where it's like, eh, disappointing. There's a silver, illumination, and then a prism out of 75 green uh, green crystals. So still, nines aren't terrible. Uh, two Watsons, got a nine and a 10. And then one I clearly overlooked, missed a crease on here at some point, I would assume. Uh, Watson, PSA 5. The only card lower than a 8 in this entire sub was this. So a 5 would imply that it's creased somewhere. So the question is where? Hmm. I 
don't see it. Would have to really look at it, but I don't see anything off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, typically a five implies that's creased. So nothing great there, but it is what it is. Uh, Mahomes, Prism Rookie Introduction, PSA 10. Uh, good looking card. It looks super, super, super clean right there. Uh, again, kind of go back to my point. I'm going to keep talking about this. Uh, rookie out of 299, nine. Rookie at or second year on 299, got a 10. So I'm just like, man, do I really have that bad of luck? Uh, still, again, hard to complain. Like I said, it is, you know, could be an eight. So nines, nines will work. But here's those Stidhams, right? Perfect timing. You got a Contenders out of 99. And I actually thought this was autoed, so this will make this argument a little less valid. But you got the best auto right here, and then Elite's Pro Jersey. And then you got two Leaf Autos. And they both tend, so just kind of noticed it again. Might be nothing, but something I was like, eh, wish those would have been a little bit better. Honestly, when I first saw this and I kind of looked at this, he kind of looks like Trace McSurley right there. Like if the colors weren't worn away, it kind of looked like Trace McSurley kind of threw me off for a second. And then instead of leaf, uh, leaf flash. Couple more cards on my guy Haskins. Haven't done overly well with some of his stuff at PSA. Honestly, a lot of nines on my Haskins stuff. Pink Pulsar, and then a Crusade. Obviously, these are two cards I, when I got, are probably worth more when I got them than they are now. His stuff hasn't really appreciated much, but honestly, that team is terrible, so hard to really say. Uh, I'm surprised. Uh, these are definitely some of the cards that have gone up the most, for sure. Uh, five of 75, Lamar Green. Um, these cards have gone up 10, 15 times what they were worth. Um, from when I sent them in. So definitely some of the biggest winners. And then three of the big, big winners are right here. They are uh, Lamar Field Levels. You guys know I love this set. Very big on Field Level Silvers. I think they're great. Um, I was unfortunately only able to get one ten and two nines, but I think I was paying like four, $4 a piece on these. And I think the last raw copy sold for one sixty. So you got two of these, I would imagine about 175 a piece, and I think the last 10 did near 300 So, I mean, you're talking about being conservative, $600 right here for three cards that you have, you know, 15 20 bucks in plus grading fees. So less than $50 for 60 I mean, that's definitely a solid ROI on that. Uh, Mason Rudolph, kind of the opposite end of the Lamar spectrum. This card has completely tanked, um, and I would guess without looking at somewhere between 10 and 20 Fifteen dollars at most, but I would say it's probably a nine ninety nine sale. So, unfortunately, not much there. Probably a hold and see if he gets traded type deal. Uh, Trout top scrum refractor. Here's kind of that point I made at the start of the video. This is a recent top scrum refractor, just base, nothing crazy, but still superstar as a ten. We'll take it. And then a second year tops update all star uh, blue. So uh, these actually sell pretty well. This is one of those cards, if you watch the original video where I talk about the preview, um, it tells you all about, uh, like, I bought this card in a deal at a dollar, not knowing what it was, and the last raw copy at the time, had sold for 75 Now, obviously, you can't really expect this one at 10 You can look at that corner. It's got some white on it, so uh, I think I was expecting a 9 on this in the first place, um, but definitely a cool card to have. Uh, <clears throat> Jeff McNeil, Optic. Uh, 25 red auto as a nine. Uh, again, probably one I would not send now. Just if you look at it, you can clearly see centering is off top to bottom. Look at the distance here versus the distance here. So that's definitely a nine, and I'm certainly not surprised by that. Uh, Ryan Costello, Bowman Chrome Red, 505. I'll be honest, you guys know this. Baseball, not my forte. Uh, not one I know a whole lot about. So I really have no idea about this dude. Something I'll have to do a little bit of research on and decide if I want to keep or hold. Uh, Eli Morgan, gr uh, gold shimmer auto out of 50. Got a PSA 10. Certainly can't complain about golds. Yeah, even if it's a pitcher, it's still, still pretty cool. Uh, Giannis certified. I think this is third year. Yeah. Uh, third year. Yep, third year. Uh, camo out of 25. 13 of 25 as a PSA 9. Would have loved for that to 10. Um, but I'll probably keep it anyways. Uh, Batum, this is here from the National Silver Packs. 
uh, two of four premier level. Uh, he doesn't sell for a ton, but for a French guy, some of his rare stuff can do well. There's a lot of French collectors out there, so um, might be uh, might be a card that's a little sneakier than expected. Definitely, definitely, definitely one that has gone up during this time. Uh, Shea, Pink, Select Rookie, 5 of 10. Uh, his stuff has definitely gone up since he was traded to OKC. I mean, just the way he's playing. Um, so I would imagine that this has gone up quite a bit. I think I turned down $75 for it raw when I got it. So um, if I had to guess as a 10, I would probably say two and a quarter to 250 If I had to guess, could be way off. But again, just going to shoot a number out there because I genuinely have no idea. Uh, Giannis, another nine. Unfortunately, I think I went over two on Giannis's. I think they both got nines. Uh, Akuna, update rookie. There's a couple of these scattered in here, I think. But there's a uh, PSA 9. Haskins, finally getting some luck with a pink bubble. Uh, most of these got 8.5s in our original sub. Uh, but out of 50, PSA 10. Uh, Haskins, uh, national VIP gold rookie. Uh, got a 9. Uh, Reddish, prism. Those are the prism ones. You'll see these. These should be short printed to 99. They're not numbered, but they're from the gold party. Uh, Mahomes, blue. I'm pretty sure this one's off-centered, but it's out of 15, 14 of 15, one off his jersey number, um, but PSA 9. This is kind of cool. I had higher expectations for Montgomery, so I really wish this would have gotten a, or uh, I wish he would have done a little bit more. I think the Bears are like dead last or second to last in rushing. Um, I love this dude's talent. I think he's really good. Um, just don't really buy the Bears' offense. They just stack eight guys in the box because Trubisky's not typically going to beat you, so... Next day autos are super cool, and they're uh, available at the National. So, uh, Greer, 9. Obviously, this would have been great timing on this. if it would have got, uh, It's great timing in this regardless, but it would have been even better if it would have got a 10, considering he's, uh, he's about to start. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool card uh, because this guy's actually local. Um, uh, and he. I think this is actually his first ever rookie card. Uh, and it's the Hyper, which is out of 25, 25 of 25. Um, obviously this as a 10 would have been super cool, but I honestly have high expectations for this. Um, again, that's one of those kind of things you can make decent money on is if you find guys that don't have a lot of stuff and you get their rare stuff, uh, that's just uh, a recipe for success. Typically, uh, as a guy that's popular, especially in a local area, has very few cards and it's super rare. Um, so this is kind of one I have, a uh, have high expectations for. And then... The other one is in this pile, in this area somewhere, not many cards left, but I bought this and another card on eBay for off a dude for like six bucks a piece, I think. I think they were like $5.99 or $4.99 shipped PWE, and uh, they both got 10s, and they're both out of 15 white sparkles. Uh, so this will definitely be a pretty good investment. I would imagine this is probably a $45 card, $39.99 to $44.99 if I had to guess, um, but still pretty solid. Uh, Baker, PSA 9. This card is uh, definitely on the depreciation list. Uh, I would imagine that this card is worth less is a 9 now than it was raw when I got it. And I would imagine it's pretty substantial. Uh, I love this card. I really want to own one of these as a 10 at some point. I'll probably just end up buying one. Uh, but this is Drew Brees' first year as a Saint Topps Chrome Refractor. So his last year in San Diego, right, was 2005. So this is his first year with New Orleans. It was 2006. And it's a PSA 9. I ended up buying this at a show a long time ago for like a buck. So that was a pretty cool uh, pretty cool one there. And then ending in this pile before the last one with Trubisky. Field level, great set, my favorite. Uh, and then a PSA 9 prism base. So nothing super, super crazy with Trubisky. All right, last stack, some cool stuff remaining. All right, we've got Saquon Barkley Spectra. Uh, 15 of 99 PSA 10. Uh, this is actually pretty cool because honestly, thicker cards are a lot of time harder to grade and this card was in really good shape. Um, I know I bought this somewhere super, super cheap. I just don't remember where. Um, but yeah, PSA 10 and 99, super cool. A uh, Barkley Premier Level Prism, got a PSA 9. Uh, nothing super crazy. And then let's see how many we got here. All right, we got uh, three uh, Barkley base rookies. You got a 10, a 10, and a 10. So three Saquon Barkley select, 
base rookie, concourse, PSA 10 rookies. I don't know what those are doing now, but uh, still better than raw. And then you've got, I don't think I did very well in these, did I? Eh, two for three. Uh, Donners, Darnolds, two for three, went 10, 10, nine. Um, again, one of those cards that probably hasn't gone up a whole lot. Honestly, probably gone down just comparatively to what these were doing versus what they're doing now. Uh, for the same grade, so uh, probably end up being ones I hang on to for a minute, but we'll see. A uh, couple Darnold Prism cards. You got a base nine, a red, white, and blue ten, and then a green crystals ten. Um, obviously, if he was playing, you know, as well as Lamar, these would be huge cards right now. But it's kind of the name of the game. I'll probably end up holding the green crystals till next year because I still really do like his potential, but. Just not quite what they uh, what they were when I sent them in, hoping for some some grades like that. So you got a premier level base, you got a ten, a ten, and a ten. So three for three on premier level. Um, so add those to the collection. You already have quite a few of those to begin with. A uh, couple Acunas. You got heritage rookies. You got one nine, uh, two nines. I thought there was I thought one of these ten, but apparently I'm mistaken. So two nine heritage Acuna rookies. Nothing super fancy there. Uh, dang, I forgot this got a 9. I wish this would have got a 10. I love red refractors. Uh, Josh Hader, Topps Chrome, red refractor, 3 of 5. Um, pick that up and a deal at the shop. Same thing with this. Jeff McNeil, rookie auto. Uh, got an Austin Riley, refractor, 499. Got a 9. Got a lot of 9s on the Topps Chrome autos. The base stuff did well. But lots of nines on the autos. Got a nine. Uh, another Darnold. I think this might be one of the last ones. Uh, select PSA 10 base rookie. So again, another 10 for Darnold. Here's the other one I was talking about when I mentioned the golf. So JJ Watt, White Sparkle. Six of 15. Again, I don't think I paid more than $6 for this. Even shipped. PWE. Great looking card. I can tell you, JJ Watt college stuff actually sells pretty well. At least it did at one point. Um... So I expect this to do pretty well. I would say this is probably a $49.99 type card. Um, maybe 10 more, 10 less, but I would guess $49.99 is probably a pretty consistent sale. So end up probably being like a $28 to $34 moneymaker on overall. And that's definitely something I'm happy with. That's a cool card. Uh, this is super sick. I love the Elite Black Cracked Ice. Um, obviously a 10 would have been cool, but... Uh, he hasn't really done a whole lot to go up in value. I mean, his stuff's pretty pretty low to begin with, so not really sure what this will do. But I remember buying this raw on eBay for like 40 or 45 bucks, I think, so nothing crazy. But good-looking card, black jersey and or black practice jersey and black parallel. That's a, a cool-looking card aesthetically. So uh, more Topps Chrome. Uh, Pete Alonzo, negative refractor as a 10. Super cool. Would have been nice to have these when he got Rookie of the Year, but still super sick. Uh, and then, last but not least, let's end it with three Ronald Acuna update rookies. Let's go 10, 9, and 10. So start with a 9, end with a 10. That's how I like it. Um, so yeah, ended up picking up a couple of these. I will probably hold the 10s for a minute. This dude is the next... The, uh, the next... Uh, Superstar in baseball. I uh, I think he's the next Mike Trout type type deal. Um, I think Soto is really good, and I really like to tease. Again, I don't don't follow baseball super super hardcore, um, but watching those guys play a little bit and some of their highlights, I think those two are the Soto and Tatis are good. But I really like Acuna the most. He's just uh, dude's just got that it factor. So hopefully uh, can learn to hustle a little more and put a little more effort. But we'll see. So yeah, guys, honestly, that was a really cool sub. <clears throat> Again, did end up getting quite a few nines, but honestly, I was really happy with this sub. Some some really big time cards in this. Some stuff I'm glad to get back, start moving, pricing out for sale. So I'll drop my eBay link down below so you guys can have that if you want to check out anything I'm willing to sell at auction. Um, but yeah, really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay tuned because I've got some big mail days coming soon with BGS. I should have some more PSA subs coming back here soon. Um, but a lot is in store for the, uh, for the next few videos or so. So I would definitely, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And, uh, again, comment your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you thought of this video. So guys, that is it. Thank you for watching.
Peace.